There goes the dryer. Mmm, the dryer didn't like that. So the customer called me. He's experiencing outages throughout his entire house. The utility company has already been out. They've replaced the line to the house. Solved nothing. It comes and goes, power's on, it's off. And you know what that tells me? Everything I need to know. I already know what the problem is. Let's get inside and check this out. So like the, where the computer is upstairs, it's right below our master bedroom. And that outlet section on that wall goes out. But my master bathroom is fine. All right. Yeah. How so long has this been energy. taking place? Uh, a couple weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. And weeks. so you haven't had air conditioning during this time. It's just been heat. Right. Okay. But the dryer's affected. Electric stove? Did I notice that in the kitchen? It goes out. It goes out. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing main breaker. It's or it's in the panel. My general so, opinion is useful life of a breaker panel is 40 years before right. you start encountering problems, and this one's at. Well, what is it, 46, 46 or 46? Okay, yeah. so it's not way beyond, but it's no. worth investigating. Run a thermal camera, cool. do some checks, yep. pop the cover off, and see what. I'll leave you alone. Let me know. Do you want me to stay here or head upstairs? No, it's your time is your own. Okay, cool. Yeah, let me know if you need anything. Appreciate it. Cool. Thank you. Oh, it's this breaker. I've seen these go bad before. I bet you almost anything. I wasn't really looking at that. Golly goodness, look, that breaker's totally torn apart. You can see the spring inside. This thing is definitely well worn with a whole smattering of breakers, all different ages. Nice big pile of debris in the bottom. Oh my golly goodness. Okay. <laughs> the uh, issue is not presenting itself right now, so we may not get conclusive readings, but what we could probably do is turn on the dryer and exacerbate the situation. I've had to replace one of these before. I think it's gonna be main breaker. Okay, we've got 124 hot L1 to cabinet, which is ground, and L2 to cabinet. That screw hole is just a nice place to get past the enamel coating on the cabinet and get contact with steel to get a clean reading. And then the ground and neutral bar is completely, completely packed. I'm not gonna get my fingers in here. This is so this is what we're gonna do here. I've got my amp meter on one of the hot legs. Right now it's only drawing 5.2 amps. There's barely any load on here. So if there's an issue which is on the edge of failure, which is what the customers described when they said flickering lights, that's the edge of failure right there. That's that on, off, sometimes working, sometimes not working. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this dryer right here, which is a 240 volt load. That means I'm gonna, put load on L1 and L2, both hot legs coming in. I'm gonna put the situation under duress. What I might see is the accumulation of heat, the buildup of heat. What I might see is arcing. What I might hear is sizzling or fizzling sound. And I'm gonna see the ampacity jump because this is about a 20, 25 amp load. And that's gonna allow the situation to rear its ugly head. Let's go. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Dryer kicks on, that motor load for the drum kicks in, and this goes bzzz. All right, now we're at 31 amps. I guarantee you we're starting to build some heat. Yeah, that was an ugly sound right there. This is, woo! This is almost certainly a panel swap. Um, it's not worth replacing individual components just trying to clean this up. It's putting lipstick on a pig. So that's my next conversation with this homeowner. If this was like a 10 to 20 year old panel, we might be talking about replacement parts. But at this point, this is a $2,000 plus swap. The next step is to pull out a thermal camera so we can document the issue and oh, move towards a definite solution. Okay, so that main breaker is the hottest part here. Let me get this out of the way. gonna heat up over time. We'll just sit there and watch it heat up for a minute or two. <laughs> I've got the microphone by the main breaker and we're gonna pick up exactly what's happening. There goes the dryer. Mmm, dryer didn't like that. 
Oh, yep, you can see the arc at the back. There it is. So right now, using my amp meter, there are only like five amps on each face. Super, super small load for a 200 amp service. Well, we've got this dryer right here, which is handy, and that's a 240 volt mm -hmm. load, high mm -hmm. current. Mm -hmm. So when you turn the light off, turn the dryer on, you can see it arcs back here at the back of the breaker. You can hear the sizzle and you can see the flash. Well, that makes sure that, that, that's, so it's kind of, yeah, so it's kind of like when the guy was out from, from uh, the contractor, he was like, I don't like the concept that half your house is going out. That just right. does not make me happy. Yeah. And that you can't definitively tell me it's all on one branch because it wasn't. Right. It, it is. It, I was, I went over that list and it's kind of, it hot scotches. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's the way this connects, it's probably this leg right here, L1, and where it makes the connection to the bus, which is the current carrying component at the back of the mm -hmm. breakers here. So that's what's happening. If this panel was 10 or 15 years old, we'd probably be talking about component replacement, but mm -hmm. given the age, I think it's advisable to recommend a total replacement. Okay. And uh, that's gonna resolve a couple of things at the same time. Uh, super minor, obviously get this cleaned up, but mm -hmm. the neutral and ground bars are stuffed and double terminated, which is a code violation. This breaker is broken and there's an exposed component there. So obviously that kind of stuff and the mismatch of breakers will all get cleaned up. Mm -hmm. So kind of kill all the birds with one stone and, um, and we've got options and breaker panels, mm -hmm. depending on what your appetite is. Mm -hmm. um, there is the standard breaker panel installed. It's about 2000 bucks, mm -hmm. labor material, all new, code compliant, torque down, mm -hmm. to spec, everything. You can go with a Leviton panel, which is beautiful. It's a white breaker panel. It is rated not just at UL standards, but above. Okay. You can replace, one of the handy components is you can replace breakers without any tools. And so if, let's just say you've got a breaker that goes bad down the road or something like that. It's literally just a snap in, snap out, pull and replace. So it's a little bit different technology. After having shut off the main breaker. Exactly. Okay, minor detail. Yeah, yes. And that, one thing I like about that panel is it's only $300 more, but if you at any point want the ability for smart monitoring and control, mm -hmm. you've got the ability to snap in smart breakers mm -hmm. with an installed gateway, and now you get free app control of those circuits. Okay. In addition to that, Indiana is transitioning to the 2020 National Electrical Code here in about two years. Okay. On that code, arc fault protection is going to be required. Arc fault protection has been such a nuisance, um, and that's basically a type of breaker, in short, that would be installed to minimize the risk of electric arc and fire. Mm -hmm. So arc fault protection has had notorious um, reputation for nuisance trips. In fact, Siemens has a class action lawsuit because okay. of nuisance trips. Mm -hmm. So what Leviton has geniusly done is they allow over the air updates to smart breakers to add uh, suitable and allowable signatures mm. to the arc fault breakers to avoid nuisance trips. Okay. So microwaves and dishwashers in particular, those two appliances have been notorious for causing those trips, but other things as well. So Leviton, $300 more to effectively have a beautiful, highest quality panel that's also future smart capable. Okay. So now we're at 2300 bucks. Or you could go Cadillac and go with this, actually I'm wearing their shirt right now, okay. uh, Span Smart Panel. And that's okay. where you have, I can whip out the app and show you, it's gonna be about 7,800 bucks. We probably wouldn't do that. All in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So um, what time frame when would you be able to do, take care of? Life, liberty, and pursuits of happiness. Yeah, right. I mean, I would assume it's a couple, hour, several hour job. Yeah. yeah, you need to anticipate being without power all day long. Okay. As we pull all the circuits out, yep. remove this, put them all back in, mm -hmm. we'll physically pull the meter, coordinate that with Duke, right. and the whole house will be down for 10 hours straight. So everything's laced back in okay. and then re-energized. Okay. Um, so the house will cool off. Fridge and freezer will be fine if you leave them closed. Mm -hmm. um, they'll even last longer than that. And then um, I need to touch base with our scheduler. That's fine. Because I assume you want to get this done ASAP. The, the trick I mean, I, th I think it's fantastic that what, we're, what we know is there's, there's basically fire behind the main breaker. That's times. it. <laughs> I just, you know, sometime between now and next Christmas. Yeah, yeah perfect. Because you're <laughs> in insurance, right? <laughs> yeah. So you're covered. Yeah, I can't see anything going wrong. All right, yeah.
So literally, it's arc. So when it goes out, for some reason, it's it's arcing. It arcs in the back. That's it. In the main breaker. It literally have a sizzling connection. Mm -hmm. It's probably developed some char, mm -hmm. which has inhibited the electrical connection. Okay. And so when the load is high or it gets too hot, then connect it connectivity decreases okay and that's when things start to drop out okay the that's that three hundred dollar plus option yeah we'll do that okay sorry yeah i think that's a that's what we'll do elegant solution mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so it'll be like 2300 bucks plus minus yep you know, yeah i mean i it's kind of like computers i mean 10 years ago you want a computer that's going to last for a while right it's plus minus two grand and i knew in the back of my head that panels are plus minus Two grand, and they have been for forever. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like, yeah. So You're mentally sure. budgeted. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's one of those. I kind of had an idea of what you were going to say. You know, if it had to be replaced, you know, if you would have said five thousand bucks, I would have been shocked. But yeah, so yeah, so we'll go ahead and do that. That makes sense. The Leviton. So essentially, your exposure to surges, electrical surges, off, is the yeah. local grid. Okay. Got it. So whether it's a lightning strike in the neighbor's yard or just a run of the mill cross of lines during a windstorm, you know, quarter mile down the road, right. all that affects the quality of power coming into your home. Right. So we experience those like, oh, my furnace board just went out, my mm -hmm. motherboard, my furnace, or my, you know, LED bulbs, my microwave, why did this appliance sure. go bad? Typically it's connected to some kind of event as mm -hmm. opposed to run of the mill failure, mm -hmm. but we just don't have a way of measuring and reading those events. Okay. So that's, that's, right. that's what, what that thought. surge okay. comes in. Surge is different than GFCI. If you've got a surge right. protector at your desk, keep it because when a surge comes in, that surge protective device is rated to knock it down X amount. Sure. And then if you've got a subsequent device, it knocks it down again. Sure. And so you put the stress on the devices rated right. for that stress, right. and they're rated to like 100,000 amps. Cool. So super, yeah. super capacity. Plan on the, that middle road. Okay, that's $600. Mm -hmm. Not a problem, all right, hey, thank you. Hey, have a good evening, Doug. Bye. You too. All right, so nobody messes with scheduling it at Jefferson Electric except Doug, and Doug is good. He's very good at what he does. And we'll do this Friday at 8 a.m. So now the process is with me to put the right notes in the right places so the technician has all the front end information before he rolls out here to address this. Donovan and Sam, one or the other, can do a great job. This is one man for an eight hour day. And David, Friday at 8 a.m.? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. We'll clear schedule. Great, and you'll be without power. So if you need to get out of here and go to the coffee shop or friend's house, um, the electrician here is completely trusted. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a little due diligence to paper up my end so he's got the pictures, the notes on what's happening. And then when you're done with this, I'll, yes, I will ask you one more thing. Okay. Just, I'll pick your brain. Sounds good. Right. So at this point, it's Tuesday at 5.23 p.m. I'm just gonna box it up and pray. I'm gonna transition this project to another Jefferson Electric electrician to execute Friday at 8 a.m. Homeowners' expectations are set. We've got two grand for the panel swap, another 300 to upgrade to Leviton, which is a pretty sexy panel. We've got another 600 for highest quality residential surge protection. And then we've got some add-ons for an outlet here for the freezer and a little tidy up with GFCI protection. So about three grand for a day, plus the service call today. If you want to see the Leviton install, click here on an install I did a few weeks ago very similar to this and subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money.